Hello everyone and welcome back to the Pillars of Eternity. Let's of play. We just f f uh, finished fighting. Are you right? No sense listening to that old bam pot. Damn Virago, not now. What? Uh, what? How may I help? Okay, I'm gonna talk to this guy. Um, yeah, we just finished completing or er, talking to Merwald and killing him because he's crazy, or Cadmilla. So, all right. Elf <laughs> looks at you with a quiet attentiveness. How may I be of service? Any thoughts on what I should do next? Merwald urged you to seek out these laden key agents in Defiance Bay, yes? If his condition is any warning, we should find them with all haste. Tell me about Adir. I've been gone for more than a year now, but I suspect I'll always think of the forests and fields of Adir as home. We have thousands of years of history and tradition behind us, and there's a sense of dignity and responsibility that comes with that. He frowns. Of course, there's the baggage as well. Our imperial past is still fresh in the minds of many, as you may have noticed here. It has been difficult to adjust to the deerwood. People here are informal. Hot-blooded, his mouth twists into a wry smirk. More attentive to insult than to duty. But as long as one avoids provocation, it's easy enough to get along. He steeples his fingers. I've gotten accustomed to enough to keeping my thoughts to myself, anyway. Right. Hey. All right then. Yeah, I guess we're going back up. I guess this stronghold is mine now. I guess. Hmm. This is certainly getting interesting. Do need to rest, however. I guess we can talk to the statue lady again. I felt Mayor Walt's passing. You slew him. Huh. Several of him. It saddens me to hear it. But part of me is grateful to no longer have to wait and worry in darkness. This place has always known its master, long as it's had one. It has a will all its own which has little to do with the castle and much to do with the land it's built on. It looks to you as Mayor Wald's successor now, whether you care for it or not. A dubious honor, inheriting a fortress both broken and cursed. But in the right hands, it could be so much more. If you had only seen it in its day, will you... will you stay? Well, always wanted to keep my own keep, even if it is a little cursed. Like, like, let me, let me think of this for a second. Well, he's a philosopher. He's death godlike. He's a cipher, and uh, maybe he would like his own place in the world to kind of like keep to himself, almost, and kind of like think about things. Maybe have people come in and have you know new faces to talk about all the time. Maybe that's what he's thinking. So obviously, he would always want his own keep. So I guess we're gonna go with that. You feel that same emanation of warmth and energy in the air. Then it is yours to keep, my lord. I cannot begin to tell you how glad that is, how good it is to know that the keep is in capable hands once again. I suppose I should mention first that if you mean to travel to Defiant Bay for supplies, there has been a complication of a kind. The Eastern Barbaric... Uh, or the Eastern Barbican had collapsed decades ago, and Merold never got around to rebuilding it. The road here is a deep, is a dead end. He has gotten far as gathering materials for, uh, before he became preoccupied. I could make arrangements to have it repaired, if it is your will. When it ceased to be the previous master's will, I became powerless to do anything about it. For what am I but the master's instrument? It would take time, but far less than finding another route to Defiance Bay. Okay, uh, how do I do it? Merwald set aside materials for the Barbican, and they are still available to you. In the future, if you wish to make further repairs to the keep, we will need coin for supplies and labor. Okay. What does being the master of Cadnua entail? Why, there are many responsibilities involved in maintaining a keep. The extent to which you wish to get involved is entirely up to you, of course. Part of the reason I am here is to ensure that things run smoothly in your absence, provided we have been given... You have been given instruction. 
If you instruct me on which repairs you wish to conduct next, I will make the necessary arrangements. These may take some time to finish, but each will provide you with additional resources once they are complete. Given somewhere to place them, we can hire tradesmen to provide you with supplies or ingredients. Repairing the keep will raise your prestige and draw, and draw both helpful individuals and unwelcome attention from bandits and opportunists. If we can raise the keep's security in turn, these will become less of a concern. You should know, however, that the position does come with some risk. Your name will grow in fame, and you must contend with threats to the keep. And then, there are other things. Is there anything else, my lord? What did he mean when he said that this keep was cursed? Merwald's curse was his own, a watcher's curse, but his predecessors have not fared better. There is a presence within the keep, or rather far beneath it. At least such has been the conclusion drawn by all who have come to this place, for what spirits still linger in the endless paths oft speak of a master below. Every effort to settle here has failed. From the time of our Adirian colonists onward, beasts rise from the endless paths, till the new lord or lady is no more. The one who dwells below this master does not tolerate rivals, it seems. I have seen him from time to time. Intrepid explorers descend to lay claims to what answers they can, but none return. This is the force which has kept Cadno a, a barren ruin, and robbed me of my hopes. The Endless Path! That, my friend, is where I must go, where we must go, if you will go with me. Whatever devils lie beneath, think, too, what knowledge we will find. Perhaps this master speaks Adirin. What are, uh, what are the Endless Paths? The Endless Paths of Adnua. That is the name given to the labyrinth beneath the keep. The Earl, he... We were warned by the Glanfathans that this site was cursed. And there was a legend attached to it, though at the time we thought nothing of it. The ruins were built, it is said, by a powerful Ingwithan named Adnua, who ruled there until his people turned against him. They destroyed his endless paths and filled many of the upper tunnels with soil and stone. No one living knows how far down the tunnels stretch, and few who have ventured there have returned. There's much talk of riches and treasure. treasure. The promise of Engwithan relics alone has drawn many fortune seekers to their deaths, I fear. Huh. Who is this master below? I could not say with any certainty. I believe it must be tied to the man who's... To the man said to have been the architect of the Endless Paths, the Ingwithan tyrant Adnua. Some claim his spirit endures, or at least has laid a curse upon the site. I cannot imagine much remains of his work, for the ruins have been here a thousand years or more. But what is left is impressive. The Earl certainly saw, thought so. You may have seen... Wait. You know where to buy... Uh, I do not. Ah! Sorry. Oh, shoot. Hmm, okay. Uh, pardon that interruption. <clears throat> you may have heard my name. That's okay. Alright. You may have seen while below that the hand of the great statue Adnu constructed. Perhaps it is a statue of Adnu himself. Not sure I actually saw that. But am I not the master of Kadnua? Of course you are. The keep would have no other, but the endless paths are a different thing entirely. It is unfortunate, really, that they are so closely in entwined. If the master below is not dealt with, there will always be a threat to the keep from within. I know it is much to take in, but if you would remain, if you would be lord of this place, then I can only advise you to seek out this foe before it destroys you. Well, I guess it's time just to go. You must know, this queen you're looking for, Defiance Bay has no queen. The Mequins of Edir haven't reigned here since the war. The only queen with any power here is Wodika. Wodika. I am told they erected an ex exquisite temple in her honor there, but I was never able to see it. If you mean to go there, we can get started right away on repairing the bar Barbican. You only need to tell me what you wish to do, then I'll make the necessary arrangements. Merald kept the ledger, as it happens, and I have taken the liberty of updating it. You could take a look, if you wish. Alright. Then we'll get underway at once, the steward's voice belies a giddy excitement. No, my lord, this is but the first and least of a great many undertakings. The keep supported a great many buildings and servants for many years. If you should wish it, we can repair some of the outlying structures, and these will bring 
you wealth and recognition, drawing people to your service. Rebuilding the defenses will keep your grounds from becoming overrun, as they did under Merwald's keeping. You need not choose all at once. I am pledged to your aid, and so long as you are master here, we shall always be linked. You need not step upon these grounds to speak with me. Wherever your travels may, may take you, you can make me... You can make your well known to me uh, if you but reach out. Yes, here it is. I close the door. Thank you. Yeah, I'm currently alone at home and watching the kids. Or at least that's what I should be doing. That's why we have other kids here to watch the younger kids. That way I don't have to. Anyway. Oh, but first, of course, the barbican. Yes, excellent. Cool, I can purchase it for free. Eastern Barbican Kate's passage to the Wooden Plains, the crossroads between Cadnoa, Deerford, and Defiance Bay. Far as main keep. Purchase! Excellent! Bright Hollow Restoration. Restoring Bright Hollow will allow you to receive resting bonuses from spending the night in Bright Hollow. Oh, excellent! I think I want that. Chris, right. how do you use the plan? Oh, crap. Um, hold on a second. Uh, all right. Well, I'm probably gonna have to cut this video short right here. Sorry. Uh, finish in two days. All right. Excellent. Anyway, we're gonna stop the video here real fast. And so, thank you for watching. I apologize for these silly interruptions, and we'll see you in the next one.